All right, welcome, welcome. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Hopefully you had a good day today. <clears throat> I already did the uh, family thing, so we're going to jump in and play some baseball tonight. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, right before, or actually after I went live while we were playing the uh, intro music, I went in and made a change here. We had a first baseman that we were scouting. Yeah, I switched it to this catcher. Um, you can see we picked 28, 31, and then 66. So I'm kind of hoping this guy ends up being a little bit better than that. I would take him at 66. We do need a catcher in the system. So if he ends up on the higher end, get him up into uh, a low C. Sorry, low B, high C, somewhere in that range. Someone in the low 60s, I would take this guy. We need to get a catcher in a system that's young. Um, we're going to get a bunch of pitching options here. But I wanted to switch that first baseman since we just got one or two last draft to this guy. And I actually have another catcher, this guy right here. But I also want to take a look at catchers are pretty... Uh, this guy wouldn't be too bad later. It'll only take forever to progress. There's just not a lot of young guys in there. There is one guy at the top of the draft that we'll never have a chance at. Um, this guy we could take with our first or second pick. But I want to have a, a backup option in case he goes before um, even our first pick. So that's why we're looking at this Scott Bot set catcher. Anyway, <clears throat> go to the standings. You can see 38 and 22. Five and a half games up on the Brewers. And uh, we have a half game lead over the Dodgers for the National League best record. And uh, a game and a half behind the Rangers for the best record in baseball. So, anyway, <clears throat> so that's where we are on that. Let's look at our stats real quick. Nolan Gorman, we are through May. So, we're not even. In June yet, and Gorman has 19 home runs. So he's on pace for over 50 home runs. And Walker's on pace for 33, Arnado for 33, Naylor for 45. So doing really well there. Pitching-wise, our ERAs went up this last month. We had a little bit of trouble um, with the starting pitching. Relief pitching did well. Um, our starters have to do a better job. So um, I'm going to play three games on camera. We're not going to do a whole lot of other um, simming with stuff. Um, I think... Do we want to do this? I think we're going to play at Atlanta, at Seattle, and at San Diego. I think that's what we're going to do. <coughs> A lot of home games, so we're going to jump in and do some road games. <coughs> so, uh, first game, I need to do a game with Painter today, so. Let's do this Tanner Bybee game. All right, Framber, let's jump right in, finish up the month of May, and we get a 3-2 to two loss. Donovan with a home run, Valdez pitched well. Strider pitched better. So we finished off May with a 38 and 23 record. So let's get into this game and we'll play with Tanner Bybee. And uh, go from there. Let's see what uniforms. Let's give them these. And we'll just wear our grays. Actually, no. Let's wear. Wear these with regular hats, though. <coughs> All right, here we go. Like I said, we're going to play three full games and not much else. We'll just sim through the rest. I want to get through this month so that next stream we can do the draft, the All Star game, Home Run Derby. Should have at least um, Nolan Gorman in the Home Run Derby and uh, trade deadline. Um, I do have some. Minor trades kind of mapped out. I may end up doing them this month so that 
things don't change between now and then. You know, guys don't get hurt. So I have a trade already mapped out with the Padres and with the Braves, but I want to get through this series first. <clears throat> we'll do them both at the same time because the one trade we're going to trade away uh, a pitcher for two players, and then we're going to follow it up by trading, trading away two players for another player. So it'll be a three for three. So let's go. It's mostly, uh, it's all minor league players, nobody for the major league team. Um, it's it's like shifting some of our depth around and putting younger and guys in positions we don't have already. Up. So that's Tuesday what we're baseball doing. On the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Atlanta Braves. All right, just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Kirsten Waltrip. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems you gotta get Tommy like going. He's only hitting 215. Dude had 20, over 20 home runs and 100 RBIs, over 30 steals last year, and he is struggling right now. We have plenty of offense right now. Our starting pitching is underperforming a little bit in the last month. Our bullpen is, is doing great. That was a terrible swing. <clears throat> so we haven't been clicking on all cylinders but we're still uh the best team in the national league right now so <clears throat> i hate hitting in this park let's take a look at the lineup this is a ball club that can really slug. Lots of homers, lots of extra base hits. If I ever did a Braves franchise, I would move them back to their previous park. Because I can't stand this park at all. I hate the backdrop. Both my dogs just came downstairs to see what's going on. <laughs> oh, there it goes! It's number 16 for Naylor. Where was this? Just down and over the middle. He just golfed the living shit out of that. <laughs> What's up, franchise? How you doing, man? Mormon <coughs> sitting on 19 home runs on June 1st, so hopefully he'll uh, stay hot here. Did the family thing early today. Took a little bit of a food coma nap <laughs> and uh, just had a couple of burgers for dinner and was like, oh, I'm going to go stream. Not doing, uh, we're not doing uh, fireworks tonight, so. If I know, final week and a half is like dragging forever. I have one game left in the NWO, and it's a, a bowl game, I think, against Alabama. I think I'm playing Bama in the Rely Quest Bowl. So. And there's a chance that Revamp and uh, Brusso play each other in the Rose Bowl, but not for the national championship, because Mizzou and Vanderbilt are both undefeated, and not sure if they're going to lose in their conference championship game or not. I'm ready to move my PS3 off my desk. Ah. <coughs> Man, that was low. We got all of that. All right, Tanner Bybee had an ERA over 12 at one point in April. And if we can uh, pitch well here, we might get him under four. 
performances in order to bring that the hell's forest wall now. he's got good stuff he's just got to be able to have confidence trusted and really go after hitters Did you do anything for the holiday today fg nice easy grounder right side on the first and a quick out number one here's christian arroyo Another easy grounder to second. I'll take that. This is not your uh, father's Atlanta Braves. Didn't recognize those first two guys. Let's see Acuna here. Chase that high shit. There you go. Got him. Woo! <clears throat> let's go, let's go. Dude, my I've been just crushed with the algorithm over on YouTube. You know, I, I archive these streams over there just to archive them, but it's still nice to get comments and likes and all that stuff. Uncle Joe, thanks for the follow. And uh, nobody's uh, nobody's even watching my stuff over there. So, Uncle Joe, welcome in. How you doing? Happy Fourth to you too. Did all my family stuff already, and it's time to get some baseball in since I didn't get a chance to watch Cardinals today. The uh, sun across the, the center field wall back there is right here. Makes it really hard to see. It's almost like Milwaukee Stadium. Yeah. Come on. Oh, hope you guys are having a good holiday. I'm going to tell you right now, even though I'm streaming tonight, you may very well get another one in the morning, early in the morning, nine o'clock. Try and squeeze in before I have to take the dog to the eye doctor. No, that one that's a good take. Two, two. Oh, nasty curveball. That was nasty. <clears throat> Hey, I'll take these easy ground balls all day long, man. That's, that's three weak sister ground balls. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Foul ball. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Yeah. Yeah, He's not going to swing at that if you don't make it at least a hint of a strike. Mm. Got it. Bounces off the wall. Woo. All right. Yeah, Ozzy Albie's hitting sixth. Come on. Wow, got squeezed on two pitches in a row there. The base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI. Get him. He's out. No. No way. I've had plays that was even closer than that that they called me out on. Wow. Chipper and Contreras. 
Yeah, I got uh, Chipper yesterday. Up the middle. Win. The first. I haven't been playing as much lately. And I just collect the uh, the cards. I don't play against anybody online. Don't like the don't like the lag, and I don't like the bunch cheesers and all that. I haven't played online in forever. I used to play. Oh, that might be out of here. Deep to the left. Let's go. Yes. Adios, <laughs> Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Oh, I don't know. Right now, I'm just working on Team Affinity, so I haven't even looked at my main team in weeks. Just been trying to finish off all the Team Affinity stuff and get it out of the way. I really haven't played this game as much this year as I did last. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Balls are flying out of Atlanta tonight. <coughs> wow. I keep hitting tanks like this. I'm gonna have to switch to Hall of Fame. Or I'm sorry, Legend hitting. It's in the corner. Donnie will get a double. There we go. Here we go. All right, Josh. You golfed one over the center field wall your first time up. Yeah, so that's why I need to get the American League and National League West done <laughs> sooner rather than later. Won't make much difference once the college football game comes out because I'll be playing that 90% of the time. Oh, stay back and wait. Yeah. I'd make a face like that too if I swung at that pitch. Ooh, under that pitch. <clears throat> well, he gave up on that pitch early and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. No, you don't need to go outside. Go lay down. Go lay down. Just trying to golf that bad decision. All right. Come on, Jaywalk. Hmm. Ball got in on me. It's a little tardy recognizing the pitch. It's not a splitter, it's a changeup. These guys with that off-speed shit in the lower half of the zone just keep me alive. Oh, throw me a high fastball. High anything. Yeah, that's all right. We got two runs. <clears throat> so we have Castellanos instead of Ozuna. I wonder if Michael Harris is still on the team or if he's just got the day off. That's out of play. Let's get him with a change up here. All right, got that slider away. There we go. Get him to chase. <coughs> Totally missed my spot. Ground 
ball right side. Turn and throw. There we go. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now here is Forrest Wall. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The Cardinals leading by three here in the last half of the third. Ball one there. That's the third Arnado. There we go. Fires across the diamond. And it's a one, two, three. I don't think we've Yeah, we've had one fly ball. That was the one that Newt Bar caught up against the wall. Start of the fourth, and here is Nolan Arenado. Come on, Nolan. And that's outside. Inner half. Come on. Acuna. It's like having Pete Crow Armstrong in right field. Dude sucks up everything that's hit out there. First pitch misses. Bases empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Ooh, that was down the pipe and I missed it. Olsen settles under this one. Oh. Two up, two down. So this this uh, episode will get us to June. So the next stream, the next stream we will uh, do the draft, the All Star break, and the trade deadline. So that'll be a very busy stream. May not get a whole lot of gameplay in there because we got to do the draft. We might have a whole lot of derby to play. So. It is two and one. Come on. Bounce to the right side. Throw on to Olsen. St. Louis goes right. down. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the Braves DH, Christian Arroyo. First pitch, just misses. Back to right. Easy fly to Newt. There we go. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. He wrote a terrific piece before the season that detailed his love for baseball. Yeah, he and his friends would play at the beach in a huge lot behind the hospital or out on the street. All they needed was a newspaper and some tape, and they were ready for a game. Just couldn't get him over far enough. One down. Matt Olson next up for the break. Ah, son of a bitch. Left that way up over the middle of the plate. That's a run. <clears throat> Just terrible sequence. I hate Matt Olson. Him. Fielding in this game is broken, man. Just straight up broken for users. CPU has not. Olsen and Albies just kill me every fucking time. God damn. Had a perfect game until uh, this half inning. What's up, Joey Porter? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Best pitcher I ever saw, Bob Gibson. Early 70s. 
Although I have seen Scherzer and DeGrom in back-to-back -back starts recently. Um, like three years ago, not like this year, obviously. <clears throat> and I saw Gibson pitch when I was a kid. Yeah, Gibson. Gibson's way better than those two guys. Gibson would have a whole lot of trouble with the pitch counts and all the bullshit that goes on today. He'd be like, "Get the fuck off my, off my mound and go sit in that dugout because you don't know anything about pitching." <laughs> Nick Pavetta had a no hitter going today. He gave up a hit, and they took him out of the game. And he'd only thrown 89 pitches. Seriously, these guys, that's all they can go is 80 pitches now? Fucking ridiculous. Man, I don't care if they throw 70 pitches in five innings, but it's when they throw 100 pitches in five innings. <coughs> they, they need to be able to throw 120 every fucking start. It's not matter. He's going to be out... You don't even train them for that in the minors anymore. Your body will do what it's trained to do, and we're not training them to go complete games. You want to know why bullpens get blown up and, and suck at the end of the year? It's because they're throwing too many goddamn innings instead of uh, starting pitcher taking care of his own game. Classification of sports, all all sports. <laughs> Jesus, put a two-two on the fucking quarterbacks. Can't breathe on a receiver. Go get that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if it wasn't for fantasy football, I wouldn't follow the NFL at all. I've run a league since 1998. We still have half the original members. Yeah, I used to work in the uh, fantasy sports industry for like 13 years. Actually, longer than that, 13 at one place. <clears throat> no, I played in paper and pen leagues, but no, this was this was uh, online major fantasy sports. <clears throat> what I do there, I was the one in. So we had a fantasy game where uh, it was a salary cap league, so everybody could have Albert Pujols if they wanted to, but you had to fit them in your salary cap. Um. So the difference would be between your pitching staffs and all the other guys, you know. So if you really wanted Albert, you could have him, but so could everybody else. <clears throat> My job was to, uh, I did the salaries for all those games. Baseball, football, basketball, hockey. No, CDM Fantasy Sports. Fan ball. Front. Yeah, I did all the salaries for those games. Did all the print ads for those games. <clears throat> uh, we got bought out by the same people that own DirecTV and the Atlanta Braves. And they let everybody go that was making any money. <laughs> Get back to first. Fucking Acuna. <clears throat> and then they ended up getting rid of the games because surprise they got rid of everybody who knew what they were doing that's why they all made money <laughs> what they should have done was gone daily fantasy before it became big and they would have still be in business today <laughs> no I don't work well I do work in sports but I may ah shit I'm a volleyball referee for high school club and college, so I do 
D3 and NAIA um, men's and women's volleyball. Occasionally I'll get a, a one, D1 or D2, but not very often. It's going to get down. That's going to score a run. Come on, Walker. Hustle. Hustle. There we go. Yeah, <coughs> parents don't know what in volleyball. They just don't know what they're doing. They just they don't always know the rules. The coaches are more of assholes in volleyball. Oh, I have. I've told them, you can be quiet or you can leave. That's your choice. You can be quiet, sit there and watch, or you can go. I've, I've had to call a camp then over and tell him, go tell your coach that if your parent doesn't shut up, you're going to get a card and he's going to go bye-bye. And the coach would look over at the parent and tell him to shut up. <laughs> and then I don't hear anything the rest of the day. Let's see if this guy's got an arm or not. Nope. Nope. That was close. Yeah, coaches are a pain in the ass. So some of them are good, some of them suck. There's one dude I have in uh, in volleyball. We uh, we have red and yellow cards like soccer. And I've had I have one coach that I've carded every single match I've worked for his school. <laughs> yeah, Nebraska is really good. So is Texas. Ooh, did they get over his head? No, of course. Perfect, perfect, right to their fucking... Right to him. Right to him. At least Walker got a double and got us back in this game. And the first three innings were perfect. The last two innings have been garbage. <coughs> Scott Foster, D3. Yeah. I don't like giving cards. This guy is a high school coach. He's not college. Actually, I, I don't have as much problem with the college coaches as I do the high school and the club. Oh, don't hang this. Flip it, flip it. There we go. All right, two down. Yeah. Um, I'm in St. Louis. So. Cali, I got some friends in Cali. Got a couple guys from the Bay Area that I play a head-to-head -head, uh, NCAA football 14 league with. Got another friend who lives down in Southern California in Pasadena. Yep. M I Z. And we're back. There's the shortstop at the play. Mason Wynn. This guy's a funky motion, man. <clears throat> it's not bad. I I used to work downtown too, don't do that anymore. But it's just certain parts of town you stay away from and one shortstop takes a ball. Um, every city's like that. Up and over. Ah. I thought I checked my swing. So did the uh, replay down in the corner. Fucking umpire. And of course, he can get out and get to that because the ball doesn't fall to the ground fast enough. Um, I would stay out of politics mostly just because. It becomes uh, too contentious in the chat, and then you got to ban people. Still jammed me. Fuck. <clears throat> Who should you vote for? Vote for the person that's going to put the most money in your pocket. Ooh. 
Just a driver there. Let's try and get this ball up. Come on, Darius, throw that pitch a little bit higher. Tommy crushed one earlier. Oh, that ball's off the end of the bat. It came out dead. He was safe anyway, and that was a hit. <coughs> All right, what do we got? 72. His steal is kind of going down. We got two outs. I'm going to send him. All right, well, we're going to take a pitch because now he's going to throw a pitch out. <coughs> he didn't, and we hit a deep shot to right center, but I think that's going to get caught. No! Over the wall. There we go. Oh, yeah. I went to the uh, 82 World Series Game 6 and 7 as a high school kid. It's our fourth home run of the game. I didn't think I got that well enough. I thought that was going to get caught on the warning track. All right. Yeah, under that one. Late, under it, not a good combination. All right, we got him the lead. St. Louis on this <clears throat> and McGuire did too many roids. Obviously, everybody saw that he had he was so much bigger than he was when he came in the league. Just keep all the roid guys out. Oh, there you go. Like that pitch? Let's throw it again. Except for a backdoor it. Let's go change like it. This. Let's go. Ah. Tommy, welcome in. Hi, cutie. One down, base is empty. Got him. There we go. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Any test if you do, it's a foul ball. Keep this guy in the park. They really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Pitch in the dirt, and it's two and one. There you go. Do me a favor and swing at that shit. <laughs> High fastball. Come back with a changeup if we don't get him. That's not where I wanted it. It's too low and over the middle of the court. At least he stops. Second base. He doesn't have. T he's not tired. That's the problem. All right. He's through seven. He should be done. Let's see if we can get some more runs. Come on, Nolan. Need another hit here, buddy. Oh, I jumped at that pitch. Saw that hanging curveball and could not wait. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a slider, and he works in a changeup. That one pushed foul. Ball kind of ate me up. This guy's got a funky ass motion. Back fan, I I liked that. I liked him even when he was on Cleveland. Red Sox didn't really care for him too much in the Cubs because we hate the Cubs. Come on. All right, Arnado, you're due. You're over. Ah.
How can that be weak? 86 pitches. He's done because we got Olsen coming in. <clears throat> I didn't mind Leland at all. So, we're going to the bullpen. And we're going to bring in Yuki Matsui. Let's go, Yuki. Sit your ass down. Oh, thank you. I was, <laughs> I was getting upset because I threw that pitch way too high, but he did me a favor and swung at it. Already given up a home run to Albies once today. I don't want to do it again. Oh man, come on. Wasn't sure he was going to get there. I knew he was fast enough. I just wasn't sure if the game was going to let me get to it. <coughs> All right. At least one more run here. Looked like a strike to the last three feet. I'm going to treat him like a left-handed pitcher. So, anybody that wasn't here at the start of the stream, we're going to play three full games. We're not going to do any other uh, player locks or any of that shit. I want to get through this month so we can get to the draft next stream, which could be as early as tomorrow morning. Oh, reaching for shit outside. Um, if it's not uh, tomorrow morning, we could do it tomorrow night. But... Uh, I want to get through the draft and the trade deadline so that all we have to deal with is the last two months of the regular season and the playoffs. You uh, didn't see us last year. We got to the NLCS and got stomped in five because I stopped hitting. Good contact, almost dead center, and it's just a lazy fly ball, 82 miles an hour. It's, this game makes no sense sometimes. <clears throat> All right, we're going to the bullpen again. And uh, Jordan Romano, our closer, is coming in. Let's see. Do I want to make any defensive changes? Let's see. Edmund Donovan. Walker's not out there. It'd just be Gorman. Nope. Leave him alone. 
strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. There's a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident. There we go. He can go anywhere he wants. This slider is nasty. Castellanos was swinging at uh, Bybee's slider, so we'll just line him up with three sliders. That's five straight sliders. Let's see if he chases this. Six straight sliders. Let's bust him up in with a high fastball. So now we can bring it back. Ground ball a second. All right, two away. There we go. And that's a winner! That's a winner! It's a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4 to four for Chris Singleton. Should keep us number one in the entire National League. Bybee is now 8-0. Home runs from Donovan, Contreras, Edmund, and Naylor. Four runs for Bybee. He had a perfect game through three and then got lit up over the last four. Matsui did his job. Romano did his job. All right. <coughs> like I said, we are not going to uh, do player locks like we have been. We're just going to play three straight games and call it a night. All right. Can we get the win in the series? Bueller, who's 6-2 and two against Jared Jones. Joshua Kendrick, that's a minor leaguer. Wait a minute, who, is that somebody we just drafted? We traded for him. Ryan CU Tigers, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. And we lose 4 to nothing, So we lost 2 out of 3. Bueller didn't pitch bad. Jones pitched better. So we are tied with the Dodgers for the best record in the National League. <clears throat> All right. We are not playing any of these games in Minnesota. What I said was we're going to play Atlanta, Seattle, and San Diego. We're going to play three road games. We played a lot of home games. So we're going to go on the road and sim the rest of these games. Um, whichever would start here or here is painters, that's who we'll use. Because I want to pitch with painter this this episode. Ooh. And we got hammered 10 to 4. Mason win with two home runs. Not a good start for Painter. Alright, Tink. And we lose 6 to 4. Come on, guys. You gotta pitch better than this. We borrow the homer. Tink is up six. Damn, I brought him up because the other guy was struggling, and now he's struggling. Let's go look and see what Cutliff's doing down in uh, Triple A. Yeah, he's back to his old self, but the problem is, guys, they don't uh, they don't sim as well as they pitch when we pitch with them, so. We'll see. We'll give Tink this month and see how he does. We're in first place, so. All right, let's go check out scouting. Looking at a catcher to get in one of the later rounds. Week 10. So we found two outfield, two left fielders. He could be a possibility. Yeah. Finish scouting the central starting pitchers this week. And 
I'm going to go finish him off just to see where he's at. We'll keep Outfield International there. So let's save. All right. Naylor bruised shin, but we get a 3-2 to two win. Home runs by Gorman and Newt Bar. Valdez pitched great. Bullpen pitched great. All right. So we needed to stop the bleeding. Now we come back home for six home games. Bybee against Hauk. Hauk went to Mizzou. <coughs> Half better be supercharged. Uh, I forgot that Langford was supercharged. I didn't even put him in my lineup for the, the uh, team affinity stuff. Hello. You do not need to go outside. No. No. One of my two dogs is over here bothering me. All right. Nolan Jones goes to the Cleveland Guardians for Clinton Tharp, who was taking in, I think, in the first draft. The first draft we did in this franchise. And Wilfredo Antonez. Wow. All right. Guardians going for it, and the Rockies uh, selling. And we get an 8-1 to one win with Bybee. Gave up a solo homer to Vaughn Grissom. Nolan Gorman and Contreras with home runs. Seven shutout innings for Bybee, who is now 9-0. and oh. Okay. Corbin Carroll's leading for MVP ahead of Otani and Gorman. Bybee jumps to number one in the Cy Young, even though his ERA is high compared to the other guys. Rookie of the Year, James Wood, Dave Loftus, Aaron Sabato. I thought we were going to have, we saw we have over there on the left, Andrew Painter won Rookie of the Year last year, got us an extra high pick this year, but thought we were going to have another shot at it, but the two rookie pitchers we... Uh, Figured might get us a shot or both struggling, so we'll see. All right. Bueller and Bellow. Three to one win. Gorman with another home run. He has 22 home runs and still early June. Wow. Okay, can we get the sweep? And a four-game win streak. Yes, 23-7. to seven. <laughs> Okay. Well, let's look at this. Give up a home run to Yoshida. We had 15 runs. Look at that. 15 runs in the fifth inning. <laughs> we scored five in the first. They scored seven in the second. And then we scored 15 in the fifth. Yoshida hit a grand slam in the second inning. Whoa. What the fuck? Look at all those guys with four RBIs. Mason Wynn was six for six. Whoa. Naylor with two home runs. Wynn with one. Painter got lit up. Mason Miller bails him out. Shit, if I have to, I'll move Miller into the, into the uh, rotation. You know what? It's not a bad idea. He's going to be tired for several days anyway. <clears throat> going to let Painter go throw some uh, long relief. Wow. wow. 15 run inning. All right, Tink. Can you do something, please? No. God. He gives up 11. All right, he's got a 90 ERA. He's got to go back to the minors. He's got to go back down. Has a great debut, and he just can't do it in the sim. I'm just going to flip these guys all year long.
Skeens and Valdez. And we lose 13 to 8. God, what is with our pitching? Our pitching is good. Why are they playing so poorly? I don't want to go trade for a pitcher. We have two young pitchers that need three, really, that need to be pitching in the rotation. All right, Bybee, can you go 10 and 0? We need you to stop this slide. Yes, two to one. And the only run was a solo homer. He doesn't get the win, though. Because we had to win it in the bottom of the eighth. All right. All right. Fuck, I didn't do scouting. God. You know what? We're just going to go back. We'll just sim this game. And we lose 8-7. to seven. Okay, we lost that game anyway. And we bring up Cutliff. We send down Hens. Okay. All right. Now, glad I saved after that last game. Now, scouting. <clears throat> It was it was this guy, this guy. I don't remember. Um, let's see who he found here. Oh, hey, well, look at this guy. Everything but high power. So let's go check out Joshua Rodriguez. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to be who we're looking at now. I can't pass that up. Let's see how he does. All right, so starting pitchers, Buster Kelly, what a name. This guy's a stud, absolute fucking stud. Look at that. He's going to be in the 80s for sure, and his potential could be as high as 93. All right, so we pick 28. No, no, no. Looks like we got a lot of pitchers. All right, let's go to relievers and closers. So let's see. Yeah, Mick Wolf. We're going to start scouting some closers because we might take one with our first or second pick. We have we have two high picks. You can see we picked 28 and then 31. So I'd love to get a young closer for one of those two. So we have this guy to look at. This guy to look at. Here's another one. Maybe another one. So we got a lot of options there. And... This guy right here, Rodriguez. Man, if he, he comes in on the higher end, that's going to be awesome. Especially if we could take him, take the closer, then take him two picks later. That would be great. Go. <clears throat> All right. So now let's sim this game. And, and we still won, but it was 12 to 10 this time. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So Bueller, Miller, Cutliff. All right. So I'm gonna pitch with Cutliff. We was gonna we were gonna pitch with Painter, but he got shifted to the bullpen. Miller's gonna start that game instead. So we're gonna start this game with Chris Cutliff. His first game back up with us. So, all right. Walker Bueller. Elbow out a few days. We lost nine to five. Only pitched two-thirds of an inning. Painter came in, did not pitch great. He might get sent down. All right, Mason Miller. 
Went 11 to 7. Walker with two home runs, five ribs. Man, our starting pitching is just killing me. All right, let's save this. <clears throat> Go lay down. You're not going outside. Go lay down. All right, so let's get this game played. This was our very first first-round pick through a three-hit shutout in his Major League debut, and then he got lit up in the sim, so... Unis do you have? Not wearing that. Yeah, they're shooting off fireworks now, so you don't really want to go outside. Let's give them their uh, creams. And let's wear these. <coughs> <coughs> Got open. Dome is open. All right. I need to get a. Uh, I need to get a picture of Nolan Gorman, especially if he does something good this game, so I can use him on the uh, thumbnail. <clears throat> Digging in is the switch inning outfielder Tommy. Ed. All right, Bryce Miller's pitching great. He turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. What a pitch. Through. Nope. It to first, and they get Edmund for the out. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. That's hard hit on the line. Calls it in. They play too shallow, and the ball stays in the air too long. And now it's Josh Naylor. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seemed to play better in road games. Two outs, base is empty. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Fight that pitch off. Fireworks are going nuts. Ooh, you got enough of that. Is that going to be out of here or off the wall? No. Not even to the warning track. Sounded better than it was. All right. Let's go, Cutliff. We brought you back as Tink shit the bed. Let's see if you can keep from shitting the bed your second time through. So we got one more full game to play after this. Call it an evening. That's going to be a home run. And if I don't do it first thing in the morning, I'd take, I'd, my, my uh, older dog has an eye doctor appointment tomorrow around 1.30. So if I don't get it early in the morning, I'll, I'll uh, stream again tomorrow night. We'll get through the draft next episode. There we go. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Darrell Risser. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Two down, nobody on. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The lefty fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One run across to the frame so far. Here in the third and final game. There we go. And down on strikes he goes. Solo homer. Two strikeouts, though. Run thanks to this solo okay lay down lay down lay down i know you don't like the fireworks but just go lay down and he's a former silver slugger recipient in the national league 
This one in the air center field. Rodriguez settles under it. I'm going to take a picture of Gorman right now so I don't forget about it. Here's the Cardinal DH, Jordan Walker. Swing and a miss. And it's a one ball. The Redbirds down by a run here at the top of the second. There's a swing. I think that ball's out of here. Nope. Just missed. Just missed. Did not carry. Thought that was easily out of here. It's his 20th double. He's on pace for. 50 doubles. That's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Come on, Nolan. Arenado, the next to hit takes ball one. Try to shoot that the right. Tying run and scored position here in the rubber match of this three game series. In the air out. Try to pull my hands in, but. Settles under it, pulls it down, and there's two gone. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a Come chance on. to get through these first two Come with under 20 pitches. That could set him up. Come on, Lars. It's got to be the shoes. Let's go. Lars oh, get out of fucking play. He's got it. It's fucking stupid. Out. Why would you swing at the first pitch like that? Back in Seattle. And a foul ball. And now the lefty on the ground, right side. Fires over to first and quickly one away in the second. Get a picture of him feeling a ground ball. So I have multiple options for a uh, thumbnail here. Now, Curtis Mead. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. There we go. And he struck him out. Now Let's go. Out. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Mariners, Harry Ford. Almost traded for this guy a couple years ago. Next offering is in for a strike. One strike. And another ball. Hit in the air, center field. And Makes the All right, the let's get the sticks going, man. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third. Mason's up to 275 with that six-hit game. Foul ball there. Way out in front. Miller, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a slur, a two-seam, and he works in a changeup. Well, oh, that's that slur right there. He pulled extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That one just misses. It's a good take. Gets a piece and stays alive. It's 
Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And here it comes. Just miss. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the right hander deals. Ripped on a line. Of course, it's right at him. And there's one away. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. His next home run will be the 200th in his career. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. The ends leading by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. The next pitch misses. And now 2-0. Oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And he walked him. Take that. No down. Pretty easy walk right there. Last I know. Pitch wasn't even I know. Hold on, guys. So the lineup flips off. I know. It's okay. Go lay down. Lay down. Over. Go lay down. Tommy Edmund at the plate. He's over one. Ah. Left field. Mullen settles under it. Yeah. Bother me. Go lay down. Here's the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. He's She's like forward. sitting right in my peripheral. First pitch and he just misses. Zoo, you go lay down too. Contreras off of first with two away. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, it was not hit hard, but got the job done. Now I get up Naylor with his 97 clutch. Oh, way out in front. That was hit hard, but foul. Two on, two outs. Small guard belted. Rodriguez. Don't think that has enough. Of course not, because Rodriguez has like 97 speed, so he's going to run down everything. <clears throat> Tyler O'Neill will fall apart. Two seamer low and away, and he pulls it. 103 mile an hour, two seamer that was low and away. How the fuck do you pull that pitch? I wouldn't care if he hit it out to right, but how do you hit a two seamer low and away, 103 miles an hour to the pull side? extended and that's exactly what he did right there he'll typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over stays through the ball gets the lock and gets the home run Matt Shaw stands in now and watches strike one swing and a miss as he was out front that time and they'll do it again Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And up next for Seattle, Cedric Mullins. And a good eye there. Just like a real Superman, Mullins played a game for the ages here in Seattle in 2023. Robbed a home run in the bottom of the ninth and then hit a home run in the top of the tenth. Absolutely incredible to watch. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. 
flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. On the ground, out to short. And they get Mullins for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Senzel up next for the Mariners. This guy homered his first at bat, too. And first offering is fouled off. And it skips into the dirt. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Not to the dirt. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the last half of the third. This to center field. No Fuck. Here, puts it away for the out. The Didn't highlight the center fielder right away. I couldn't tell who was supposed to get that ball. Back at T-Mobile Park as we go to the top of the fourth. Now up the Cardinals, number four hitter, Nolan Gorman. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Under it. Everything is just missed. Just missed. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Swing and a pop up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. One down, base is empty. Swing and a base hit. All right, that's two hits for Walker. Let's go. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I could watch base hits Come like back. that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Arenado, the next to hit, takes outside. Out to center. Rodriguez makes the play, and there's two away. Now that right Lars Newball takes up for the Cardinals. Fly to left his first time. He swings and fouls one off. The O one. Swing. <laughs> Get it after the game. Nobody on. And now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Wait, one ball. Okay. And that's ball one. Chica, lay down. Hey, go lay down. Go lay down. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. The count two and one. Line drive, base hit right for you. And that extends the inning. <clears throat> Wilson Contreras, next up for the Cardinals. All right, Wilson, you go yard. It's number 200 on your career. First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you. Ah, that is the end. All right, well, we got that. Two runs for St. Louis on this play. Game back to a tie. Newt did his job. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. See if Cutliffe can keep him in the park. Not even close he waggles his bat right through the meter. It drives me insane.
He went. It's just too damn fast. There we go. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go ahead run in scoring position. Me. Stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next offer in there for a strike. And the count one and one. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 3 2. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. You know what they say? He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Now the outside corner, and it's all 2. On the ground, right side, into the outfield, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Fuck. And two out. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Just a simple ground ball the other way, and it had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Traffic on the bases with one already in. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And now it's even up. the inning and stops things from getting out of hand but the rbi single pushes across a run we go to the top of the fifth and here's the st louis leadoff man tommy edmund outside low ball one edmund 31 years old and he's a former gold glove award winner base hit that was smoked through the infield so a runner aboard to start the inning couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking mm. opposite field as he stepped into the box. Out in front of that changeup. Let's go. And now, let's Stay see on it. See the pitch. All right, now that kicks in Naylor's clutch. So let's see what we do here. That'll score us a run. Some buzz about it now, Siggy. 
It's nothing crazy, but it does say a lot about how well he's seeing pitches and really making solid contact, barreling up the baseball at times, and everything it seems he's hitting hard. As hot as he is, I could see this streak going for a little while longer. The 0 1. God, I think it'd be a strike, at least. Left hand batter waits. Just missing there. Now one and two. And at first one away. That misses. It's two and two. Gorman's got 22 home runs and 60 RBIs, and we're in the second week of June. Ah, make it 23! <laughs> All right, Walker, you got a single and a double. No balls and a strike. Just missed. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. Carlos Vargas preparing to come on if needed. Hancock also getting ready. Yeah. Stay off that. Can't do anything with it even if you make contact, so don't swing at it. The kick in the one two. Swings and misses. That's out number two. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Nolan Arenado. Right field down the line, and that one. <laughs> Slices down. Here comes the 0-1. Lined into right. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 5-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jake, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Back in Seattle, leading off, Matt Shaw. Right side, hard hit. Steps on the right. first for the out. The need some, start showing some fight against this scoreless two innings two right here. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. One down, base is empty. And there's a hit. I'm so tired of these perfectly placed hits, man. Hey, welcome in, man. Nice job of driving Appreciate the follow. Let me just say, I don't, I, I dislike the Reds less than I hate the Cubs. <laughs> so, we got some, I have some buddies on here that are Reds fans as well. That That's fine, we're good. Cubs fans, that's a different story. You're a Pirates fan? Hey, well, welcome in, man. You guys used to kick the shit out of us in the 70s and early 90s, so. Both of you. God damn, this dude. I am not pitching this guy anymore. I'm just going to fucking hit him in the head. <clears throat> yeah. We, uh... I'm torn. I'm torn because I hate our manager and I hate our general manager and I want them gone last year. So I want the team to do well, but I want those two motherfuckers gone, especially the manager. I absolutely cannot stand our manager. When Rodriguez was just 16 years old out of the Dominican Republic, Edmund in position and makes the grab. <laughs> Cubs fan, <laughs> you're you're good. Darrell Risser up and in, and that is ball one. 
Now, if you'd said you're a Kansas Jayhawk fan, I'd have kicked you out. <laughs> Fuck the Jayhawks, man. In baseball, we have fun giving each other shit. It's okay. We're good. But Kansas Jayhawks, they can fuck right off. How is that not a strike? Exactly. There we go. Damn. I swear, next time Senzel comes up, I'm hitting that motherfucker in the back. Don't care if there's men on base or not, I'm drilling his ass. Our pitching, our starting pitching just cannot keep the ball in the ballpark this year. And it's not bad. So you can lay down. That's why I brought your bed over. Happy hit two, three run homers. Well, I'll tell you what. I have half on my fantasy team, so that that makes me happy. <laughs> and I'm not being punny about it. Oh, you're going to drill me. Well, we, we can both play this game. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be punny. I realized I was, but I wasn't trying to be. <laughs> Come on. Contreras is sitting on 299 home runs. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's just a weak sister fly ball in the right field. Come on. Tommy Two Bags, let's go. We need him in real life, too. We need him in center field. I know Siani's been excellent with the glove, but we need, we need Tommy's bat. And his speed. <clears throat> Come on. Ah, you got right by me. And then I swing right over it. He's coming out. There we go. Contreras is a former Cub. Hey, I can't control who my team adds to the team. He was already on the team when I, I took this over. I can't help what our real GM does. So was Lou Brock. Let's put it that way. He was one of my favorite players growing up. Brock and Gibson and Simmons. Joe Torrey, when he played with us, played third base. Can't get to that. Can't get to that. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Next one misses, and it's one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle. And there's the third out. Oh, my goodness. And welcome back to the ballpark. Come on, Donnie. Just missed. Oh. 
just off the inside edge. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. There we go. Can't wait for the MLB draft to get here because we picked seven. We kind of got screwed in the lottery. We should be picking five, but we don't have a second round pick because we signed Sonny Gray. So, hoping we either get Nick Kurtz or uh, that lefty from Arkansas, Smith. I want one of those two guys. There's Dolphin. We need a. Goldschmidt replacement, and we also need a stud for the rotation, especially a lefty. swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have it looks like his grand slam the other day against the pirates the cubs need to trade bellinger they need to trade bellinger and put pete crow in center field and leave it alone get somebody else you just need to go get a bunch of prospects again last year was uh Kind of messed him up. That's going to drop. Be his third hit of the day. <clears throat> Everybody needs pitching, too. All right, Nolan. Let's go. Drive a ball. Way early. Way early. Come on. The ball up. That's always having to hit the ball to right field with him. All right, got the lead back. Second home run of the game. It's now six five. Back at T-Mobile Park, set for the last half of the seventh. And stepping in for the Mariners, Matt Shaw. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Headed towards the corner. Must be the first ball Donovan's been able to catch. Everything's been over his head and out of the park. If I was doing a Rockies rebuild, he'd be the first guy I would trade for. That 99 speed and that 90 plus defense, he would perfectly cover center field for the Rockies. Doesn't even have to hit for a lot of power or average, he just needs to cover that outfield. You know what? This guy pissed me off. That's for your two home runs, you motherfucker. All right, through seven. Now we can bring in JoJo or Matsui. If you guys are wondering what happened to Helsley, I traded him the first season because he just got lit up. He had an ERA over five and a half, and I was like, fuck it, we traded him to the Braves. <clears throat> yeah, Tink is, uh, we just got to not rush him. He doesn't have the biggest body. It's kind of like a Pedro Martinez build. Young Pedro Martinez, not older, where Pedro got a little thicker in the legs. The fuck was that? Next to hit, Mason Wynn. 
Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that. Kate Horton's pretty good, too. They got to be patient with him and not try to uh, expect a ton out of him right away. Hang one. Not being patient at all. Mason slugging. Mason slugging 508. I can see it on the scoreboard. What mode am I playing in? Simulation? Yeah. Hall of Fame hitting legend pitching. Bitch. That's home run number 200. <laughs> Go lay down. Off the scoreboard. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Tommy. I want more. We need more. Mm. Second inning and the sixth inning were the only innings that haven't had at least one run scored by somebody. There we go. Get down. There you go. Got to get him going. He was hitting 217 earlier in this uh, stream. We're sending him. Send him. It's two outs. I don't care. Send him. Get in there. There you go. Now he's in scoring position. 15 bags for him. On Donnie. Ah, don't chase. Don't chase. Get 92 clutch here, dude. See the pitch. Good pitch. It's okay. Got another run. Tack on runs. Go Yuki, just because he hasn't pitched as many innings, only 23 innings, with an 077 ERA. So we need him to pitch more. He was our big off-season acquisition. We made a deal to get him. He's with the Angels, actually. When we traded uh, Helsley to the Braves, we got A.J. Smith Shaver and uh, two other minor leaguers, and we traded Smith Shaver to the Angels with uh, another big prospect and got um, Matsui. This last year, our bullpen was a little inconsistent. This year, it's our starting pitching. All right, three more outs to go. Let's get some more runs. That's why I always sit with my PCI, that up and in against lefties, lefty, lefty, right here. Bottom of the top third. Top of the middle third, inner third of the plate. Here is drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. 
Damn, he almost hit three. All right, let's bring in Romano. Jordan Romano takes over on the mound. Now, I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Gorman to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. O'Neal stands in here. Takes ball one low. High in the air out to right. New All right, one more out. Let's go. So they're down to their final out. Matt Shaw getting ready to hit. Foul ball there. That one not close. And it's a ball to strike. Two run game, but two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Oh, hey, Breeze. Yeah, the Memphis State Pharaohs. That one? Yeah, I'm going to make a team builder team with that. Once they uh, release a team builder, then we're going to try to make them as close to that as possible. But that, that, um, here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. The guys that are uh, not on my Discord. this one that logo yeah i found it and i can use let me see let me go here yeah that one that's going to be on the uh side of their helmet the the pharaoh logo and then the memphis state and the pharaohs will be in the end zone so yeah we're going to be uh we're going to start uh our first one with Mizzou, just so you know. Um, the first one I play, because I'm probably going to do, uh, Breezes, I'm probably going to do um, the very first one. We're just going to go in and look at recruiting. So I'll, I'll probably just take what you know, whatever random team and go in and look at all the recruiting stuff um, on the very first stream, just so we can go through and look at it and sim the games and try and get a feel for how it works. But the first... Uh, Dynasty that I play is going to be Mizzou, and then that Memphis State one will be down the road. Yeah, Team Builder would be awesome, so I can get that shit done and out of the way. And I want to see, uh, I want to see Stoner Gamers uh, Taco Bell team because he has some really cool concept uniforms. He made those those uniforms that I posted on Discord too. Yeah. There we go. All that for one pitch. And that's a winner. That's a winner. I already told my wife when that shit goes live, I go live on stream. <laughs> so she can go uh she can go have dinner by herself and and I'll uh, I'll eat later. All right, so that's two games, two wins. We need the sim to work better for us. That bastard right there. Nolan Gorman, two for five with three RBI and two home runs. Meatbar and Contreras with homers. Cutliff, seven Ks, but those five runs, he gave up three home runs. So, let's see what uh, Spot Gorman's in on the... Uh, MVP because he was third, but we just hit some home runs. Yeah, he jumps to number one now with that 24 home runs. There we go. Look at Corbin Carroll at 355. American League is Corey Seager. All right. We're going to sim all of these games through the Brewers, and then we will play a game at San Diego. Hopefully, I can get Painter back in the rotation here. Let me see if he's... Uh... Walker Bueller's dinged. 
Let's see if he, he might slide in for Beeler. All right. Cross your fingers. Beeler's back. And we lose 4-2. Corbin Carroll, the home run. JoJo got eaten live. All right. Come on, Tanner. 6-2 to two win. Naylor and Ringifo. Tanner is 10-0. and 0. ERA is closing in on four now. <clears throat> Walker against Zach. And we get a shutout. Three to nothing. Newt Barr and Sajazi with home runs. Four hits shutout. Complete game for Walker Bueller. There we go. Let's save this and go do our scouting. So this guy is not going to have as high overall, but we still got, what, one more week and he'll be full. This closer is definitely one of the better ones. So I'm hoping that this guy can slide. Um, if you guys didn't see it before, we have picks 28 and 31. So I'm hoping this guy slides and we can get him at 28 or 31. Um We'll see. Let's get another closer in here. Let's get Francesco Minoso. City Connects, if you like the Padres. Yeah, some of them are good. They're not the worst. I wouldn't say they're the best, but they're definitely not the worst. Some of them are just ass, but... Oklahoma, nice. There you go. Hey, you know, Breezes, you gotta, gotta do it all upright, man. How's that baby doing? Dude, I have five granddaughters and one grandson now. <laughs> and I just spent time with five of the six today. Let's go central there. He'll be done this week. He'll be done this week. Who's on a trade block? That's shit crazy. <laughs> That's too funny. Don't spoil her too much. Sometimes you got to tell her no, man. Got to tell them no so that they're not real trouble when they're teenagers. If we needed a hitter, I would go after this guy. No, we, we don't need a hitter. They have him on the block. I would love to get him for the future. Um, look at Carlson hitting 326. No starting pitchers. Griffin Canning sucks. There's nothing. There's nothing. Okay. Here's our top prospects. This is what we look. We have the number one prospect we traded with the Angels to get this dude. He's already got 90 contact against left-handed pitching. We're working on his power. In his defense. So this is our eventual long-term replacement for uh, Arenado. But with that defense, he might get shifted to second base. We'll see. This guy's per nines have to get up to 60. His per nines have to get to 60. This is one of the guys we got. Oh, we traded with the Nationals for this guy. He was a recent draft pick. He's a recent draft pick. This is our first round pick last year. There's Tink. 9 ERA. And that's with me pitching the first game and pitching great. And there's what he's doing down in double A. He's killing double A. There's another guy we drafted. And we traded for this guy. Durability sucks. These are two of our real prospects. Cooper. Yeah. Once we get to the end of the month, um, I'm going to make two trades um, before anybody gets hurt. But they're for minor leaguers. They're minor league player trades. So.
nothing on the major league team. But that guy, Jerpy, I just showed you is going to be one of them. All right, Mason Miller. Brandon Fott. Come on, Mason. And we lose 10 to 2. Nolan Gorman, another home run. Painter and Miller, neither one of them did very well. All right. We're going to have to flip those two because Miller's not cutting it. And we just wrecked his ERA. And my earbud just died. So give me a second here. All right. What do we have down here? I don't think he's going to do better than either one of them. Neither is Takoa Roby. These guys, Painter's got to get his shit straightened out, man. So, one, two, three. He would pitch against Milwaukee. So we're going to miss Painter. I really wanted to pitch with Painter. So maybe I just play this game at home game against Milwaukee instead of going to San Diego and playing so I get this game in with Painter. So that's what we're going to do. So, all right. And we crush the Angels. Donovan and Contreras with homers. Cutliff pitches much better. We notice we're just dominating at home. And we win 9-3. to three. Newt Bar Contreras with home runs. Valdez pitched good. Okay. And do we get the sweep? No. God. Got hammered. Bybee gets his first loss of the season. Romano. What the fuck is going on with our pitching? A's want to trade us. No, I'm not. I don't want Victor Robles. We have no need for Victor Robles. He's 29 years old. They want us to take a 29 year old center fielder for a guy we just drafted that's 18 years old. No, why? I don't need the outfielder. Come on, Walker. Oh my. Okay, well that changes everything. June and July, maybe even August. Batten, happy 4th of July. Welcome in. As you can see, we just lost uh, Walker Bueller. Got the win, though. Nolan Gorman with another home run. All right, here's our adversity because we are uh, five and a half games up on the Brewers. <clears throat> half game up on the Dodgers for the best record in National League. And now we're we're down to a second-year pitcher pitching like shit and two rookies that are up and down. So here's, here's the drama for the season. Can the young pitchers hang in here? If they can't, I'm going to have to make a deal to go get another another pitcher so who can we trade for let's go look and see who's available who's in the last year of a contract let's see who's out of it right now all right 
Rockies, Nationals, not trading in the division. So Rockies, Nationals, and Padres. White Sox, Red Sox, Orioles, Blue Jays. They just traded for him. Good trade for Alec Manoa. Kenzie Gore. I wouldn't have a problem trading Herrera. I probably wouldn't have a problem trading Santiago. So that's a possibility. I'm going to save that. The other one was Mackenzie Gore. Yeah, they want more for him. Nope. Not doing that. They're not going to trade any of those guys. What John means. Doing that. All right. Well, Manoa's an, a possibility, so we have that as an as an option. So all right, we'll save this. Go lay down. Come on, go lay down. It's gonna be all right. All right. It's our first big injury since we lost Jordan Walker for two months in the first year. All right, we're going to play this game instead of the one at San Diego. So let's get in here and uh, get this game played. FG with a rated 23. Welcome in, guys. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to shout out FG again. Welcome in, guys. NCAA, how was your stream? Who are you playing with? Trying to get in some games before uh, we're done with 14. Dude, we just lost Walker Bueller for two to three months. We lost Bueller for two to three months. So we're going to have to bring up uh, Tink Hintz. Now we're going to have two rookies in the uh, four and five slots, man. Yeah. Here, look. Bueller right here. He pitched well, but he only lasted five innings, and now he's out two to three months here. Right there. Torn groin, out two to three months. Uh, we looked at trades. We could do this one. We could trade, because uh, we have Henry Davis in the minors I could bring up to be our backup future starter. I can always find a backup catcher. Uh, so it really comes down to that 22-year-old center fielder. But we could we could trade for Manoa. He's a free agent at the end of the year. So we'll see how these young guys go. Um, right now we're 51 and 32. 
And we're a game better than the Dodgers for the best record in the National League. Um, here, look at this, man. Nolan Gorman and Corbin Carroll are going at it. And we're not even to the All-Star break yet. <laughs> All right. Let's get in here and play. It's our last full game we're going to play today. Okay, let's go. Clear skies. Andrew Painter. Got a lefty, so let's go. Anyway, welcome in, guys. Welcome, welcome. I will be uh, streaming NCAA College Football 25. Um, when that shit goes live on the 15th, I'm going to go live at 3 o'clock Central. And we're just going to jump in and go through recruiting and try and figure that stuff out. I'm just going to bring up a, uh, a random team to just sim the games because I don't care whether we win or lose. I just want to see how the recruiting works. So if you guys want to uh, see how the recruiting works, man, um, come on in and join us on the first day. Carol, yep. Gorman played, uh, he played high school with Matthew Libertor as well traded him away the first year because he sucks in this game all right painter was the rookie of the year last year but he's really struggling in the sim right now There we go. There we go. Let's go. Surprise Chirio still on the team because I've played other <coughs> other franchises and he gets traded away early for some stupid reason. Probably because Yelich or whoever else is in the outfield that decides to trade him. Just like Jackson Holiday gets traded a lot. Bobby Witt and De La Cruz get traded a lot. And that one is lifted in the air. All right, they got to fix those two because Donovan's not a right fielder and Jordan Walker's arm belongs, belongs in right field. All right, there we go. Live in Phoenix? Nice. I had some, uh, wasn't my relatives, it was my an ex wife of my dad had family that lived in Carefree. <clears throat> that was back in uh, the early 80s because their son played the college basketball at Duke back in the, the uh, late 70s, I think it was, early 80s. Almost got it over his head. Wife's got family in the Phoenix area. Get down. There we go. Yeah, I quit swing at the first pitch. Go. Yeah, exactly. I don't remember what his name was, though. I just know their house, they had like 10 foot high showers. <laughs> they, the, the tub was sunken in and the ceilings were super high because everybody in the family was like 6'5 or taller. <clears throat> Even the mom was tall. All right, two on and one out. Let's go, Nolan. He's actually got good power against lefties. Don't chase. Don't fucking do that. Yeah. FG, I forgot. We need to do something because, you know, it's...
It's the 4th of July. Guess what time it is. If I can get the lid off of it. Amigos. Look how dark that is. There we go. Here's to you guys. America. No better way to get out of this inning. Two on, one out. Hit on the ground by P2. To Adamas, that's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Impatient. God damn. New inning getting started. Billy Adamas stands in. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Adamas in his 10th season, 31 years old. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. The shortstop takes the ball. And a base hit up the middle. And a board. Perfectly placed. Austin. Everything came together for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Just a slow ground ball this time. Toss to Naylor. Just Lucky to get one. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Next pitch is inside, and it's one and one. The one one is <clears throat> fouled off. There we go. Needed that. It becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him the space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and we're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Ball oh, one there. The Brewers with a chance to score first here in the second game of the series. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. This with a changeup, and that's ball two. There we go. Let's go. Look at that. He's got 99 contact against lefties. That's the whole reason why I got him. Besides the fact he can play a ton of positions. Yeah, that was Ric Flair. Also got Tony Soprano. This is fucking bullshit. Kramer. And that's a foul ball. Oh, yeah! And a pitch. Yeah. Get under it. Chorio should have this one. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. The guy from uh, John Wick and... Uh, Deadwood. Get the fuck out of my joint. And that one is in the dirt. Come on, let's go. 
nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Fought off foul. I flinched. I tried to hold up, but I flinched. And another ball. Let's go. Yes. Come on, Mason. He had a six hit game earlier in the sim. Out to short. Adamas. The throw to first. That's the inning. And down. Out of the third inning. Up now for Milwaukee. Joey Weimer. That's the outside corner with that one. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop a foul. Here comes a pitch. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. And yeah, the righty deals. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. And that's down and away. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Makes the <sighs> for the out. And there's one away. Top prospect um, <clears throat> is a guy that we just traded um, with the Angels to get. He's a third baseman. He's already got 90 contact against uh, lefties. And he's in the 70s contact against righties. He's an 18-year-old. He's a third baseman, but his defense is so poor, he's probably a second baseman. Which I could always move Gorman to third. No, I'm not that cruel, but someone would say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before. But the guy I pitched with last game was our top pitching prospect, and he was our first number one pick, that Chris Cutliffe guy. There we go. Yeah, I didn't draft that guy, that that third baseman. I traded for him. When I got Matt Suey, I traded Smith Shaver, Orelvis Martinez, and something else and got Matt Suey and that third baseman. I can't remember what else I gave him. I gave him something else pretty good because I gave him three good players to get two back. Come on, man. Here's Nolan Arenado. And a foul ball. A wind of the pitch. Down the line. Man, tardy on fastballs right down the middle. One out, base is empty. Pitch misses. Count one and two. Wind is blowing out, I think. No, no. Yeah, wind is blowing out. The big tall building behind the steakhouse sign. My wife used to work there. Is it going to be enough? Back to the track. Caught. Come on, Tommy, two bags. Let's go. Kind of scooped that one. Pretty quick inning here. <clears throat> the shortstop at the play. Willie Adams. Fastball for a strike. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 with two. No ball, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. 
Nobody left for Milwaukee, and we're still knotted at zero. And by the way, they're real oh. and they're spectacular. Bush Stadium, and here is Brendan Donovan. That's her cue. She's not in here, though. Pitch. Slider misses outside. Yeah. Tried to hold up. Come on, man. Get a pitch over here on this side of the plate. I'll take that. It's not going to get through. He's going to be out because he doesn't have any speed. Dipped. Dipped. Gotta stay up. Come on. I was tardy on that one. All right, Nolan. Get us on the board, man. Let's go. Only three hits total in this game. Ooh, bottom fell out of that slider. That's a good pitch. Damn, look at that. He's slugging 636, and it's not even number one. What a pitch. It's going to be a pitcher's duel. Yep. I have several of those. I'm going to throw him another curveball if he's going to stand there and take it. Jordan, welcome in. Oh, should have dove. Should have dove. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Velasquez gets his lead at first. Take that. One gone here. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Next offer, he's in for a strike. Ooh. The outside part of the plate. It's a good take. Another ball. All tied up for the top of the fifth. Well, that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early squared it up with the well-timed swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Rengifo beats the second. That'll work. I don't think this one works anymore. Yeah, it's not set up. Nice job, 4-6-3, inning, ending double play. Back here in St. Louis, now it's the second baseman, Luis Rengifo. Outside. A former all-star, 30 years old now, and he was born in Venezuela. That clips the corner. That's a double. There we go. Hustle, hustle. Come on, dig. All right. Runner in scoring position. Come on, Wilson. Try to pull my hands in and pull it. Looks like I pulled it in too much. 
comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And now the lefty lifted in the air right center field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Now it's the shortstop. Mason Wynn. The shortstop takes the ball. Make this guy throw some pitches. Get one that can actually drive instead of just chasing. Second has a very good read and can determine that pitch up. Or not he can score on that base hit. And another ball. One out and a runner at second. Last half of inning number five. Would chase that time. Walk's not the worst thing. It brings up Walker and Arenado with men in scoring position. Make sure that they don't get any confidence. Hmm. Fouled off again. And the Come on, three. let's go. And it's second. Out to short. Damn it. Adamus, oh. Terrible contact. Can't move the runner up. So two down now. Come on, Jay Walk. Let's go. Jordan Walker. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some nope, power. That's the ball. Got to be careful. When you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals, runner edges away at second. Hey. There's a strike. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And fouled off. And on second, two down. Out towards left center. Sizes this one up. Three shots to bring him in. We don't even move him up. That's terrible. One left for the Cardinals. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Vasquez leading things off and takes the strike. In the left center for a base hit. So now back to Hung that curveball. All right, we got to hunker down here and figure out the lineup and now the center fielder Jackson Chory in the first pitch misses for ball one swing and a drive deep left field way back there and that one's off the wall throw back it quickly call him to a single okay <laughs> back to back base hits he absolutely could have been a lot worse front and almost got it out of here man just a really strong balance swing and ball down the left field line on his way over won't get to this one it drops foul next off is down low he's gone off speed he needs to elevate here with three swing and a miss he stuck him out and that's strikeout number 100 on the year and now it's going to be Andrew Monasterio Two on, one out. Oh. <laughs> Clip the corner that time. Got him. Let's go. One more. And now the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Not close with that one. Ball one. Go ahead, run at second, and we're in the top half of the six. Over to first, and they get a Thomas for the out. That ends the frame. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Nolan Arenado. The wind of the pitch. That one almost got him.
Nope. Arnado's so slow. He's like Yachty slow. Giancarlo Stanton slow. Come on, Tommy. Mr. Two Bags, I would appreciate an extra base hit here. Ball hangs up way too long in the outfield. Ball does not travel. It just floats out there. They don't play deep enough either. Not going to beat Mason Wynn's cannon for an arm. That was a quick inning. Thank you very much. Save me pitches. Let's go. Get some fucking bats going. <clears throat> Damn it. Fucking game. Every time it fucks you on defense.
once they get in a position to do so. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game. But they'll talk it over. Next to hit, Sal Fraser brings it in. Here comes the runner from third. Play at the play. Safe. That would have been the third out if Rengifo doesn't make a bad throw. Score in this ball game. Sack fly. Nice job of manufacturing a run. And that could end up being a big run at this rate. Right-hander kick steals. Fouled off. He was late. One run across in the frame so far here in the second game of the series. Three looking for the ten. One run. So coming into the game now on defense, Christian Yelich. He'll be out in left field. Line drive, come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high five. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change here, Jose Leclerc. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Jordan Walker will hit next. Oh, stay back. Stay back. Come on. Base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Right into the play. Foul ball still 0-2. Right-hander deals. And a sling and a miss. That's the second out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And here is Nolan Arenado with the go-ahead run at the plate. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And ball another two. ball. We got two balls, one strike. Right, sorry, Swing and a miss, two. and that's strike two. Two balls, two strikes. And this is inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now now's their chance to change the game. Tommy Edmund at the plate. God damn it. In plenty of time for first, and they get Edmund for the out. Inning over. All Stars, um, they announced the starters yesterday or today. I don't know about the rest of the team. All set to start the ninth. Pitcher on here, number 11, hasn't pitched in the last three days. That's a hit. Waste no time there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Velasquez at the plate now. That's ball one. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Edmund makes the catch. Next.
next for Milwaukee. Owen Miller. That one in there across the letters. And that's ball one. The inside edge. And that's ball one. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. What the fuck? That's twice. Two easy, easy plays in the infield that they throw and drag him off the bag. This is not a tough throw from second base. It's a routine throw. God, I hate this game. Stays alive. Pitch. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it back. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. On a line. And out number one on the ground. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tie-in run. But no reward right there. And just going to have to sit on it. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. And that one fouled off. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And that's outside. It's a ball in two strikes. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Left hand batter waits. And that's a strikeout looking. Cardinals now with just one out remaining. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And I'll tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away, and for it to catch the outside corner. Lined in the left center, took the extra bases. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I love it. Real Nick, hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let me see who is going. This is going to be. It's going to be. The approach he had right there with that pitch, not trying to do too much. 
too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Bang and a miss. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Mm. And another ball. Last couple of pitches breaking balls are away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Swing and that's ripped towards right center. Tie ball game, boys. Tie ball game. Newt. <laughs> and that's a double. Huge moment for him and his team, Bill. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight in a big spot like this, having a chance to tie it up in the bottom of the ninth. But he didn't let the moment get to him. Comes up with the RBI knock, and now he's giving his teammates a chance to walk this thing off with the win if they can push across another run. Velasquez. All right. And that will end the inning. He'll put Newt Bar in center and bring Tommy in to play second base. Welcome back. Pitch hitter getting set to lead off here in extras. William Contreras. A critical at bat in this game for him. As the lefty gets to work. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Popped up to the left. In the foul ground. He's under it. And there's one down. Yeah, we came through, Jimmy. Just, a little bit quick. Just in time. Just in time. I knew I wasn't going to run for Gorman because there was already two outs, so I was going to get an extra step. And we were going to send him anyway. We were going to have to get a, a hit to uh, knock him in. So. That was Arenado we would have run for him. Got him. Let's go. Let's get the last run. Come on, boys. <clears throat> Let's go. So remaining in the game defensively, William Contreras. Now he takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. High fly ball out towards left field. Back there. Game over, boys. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> that was a towering shot. I wasn't sure if that was getting out or not. I had to watch the outfielder. Boom. Ball game. All right, we won all three games we played. Good game by Ashby. Good game by Painter. That was huge for that. that was a division game. All right, scouting. So this left field that we found definitely can play defense and uh, run the bases. He's got really good vision, doesn't have a ton of power. He can definitely hit, um, 
We need to uh, hope he's on the higher end. I would, I would, uh, I would definitely take him at sixty-six. And this guy is a closer, man. Jeez. It's hits and strikeouts and walks per nine, home runs per nine. Francesco Minoso. There's no one there, so let's go infield central. So let's change you. Man, look at all of these closers. Um, yeah, Drew Ludwig. We'll get the other closer next next week. Um, let's see. This guy will have power. Let me see, let me see. Julio Fabregas. Let's see if there's any infielders. Yeah, let's look at this guy. Okay. Call that there. So let's save where we're at. All right. So now we're going to sim these four. What are we at? We're at three hours. I could actually do a player lock if we wanted to. Let's sim and see what Cutliff does. Mason Miller broke a nail. We lose eight to two. Willie Adamas with a home run. Arnado with a home run. Cutliff sucked. God damn. All right. Fromber. Come on, Fromber. 14 to 4 win. Gorman and Sejazi with home runs. Cano. Three big sh shutout innings and in relief. Look at all those guys with three hits. My goodness. All those guys with three hits. Six game lead on the Brewers. Six and a half on the Pirates. You got a one game lead on the Dodgers for the best record in the league. We have the best record in baseball, boys. We're 53 and 33, and a Texas is 52 and 34. Look at Corman. He has 27 home runs, and we're all not even done with, Ju with June. Wow, well, we're not even to July. Okay. Okay, okay. Come on, Tanner. Nope. Lost four to two. Bobby pitched okay. Cano took the loss. And Tink against Cease. Dylan Cease with a six ERA as well. I'm going to player lock with Tink. I'm I'm gonna pitch I'm just gonna pitch this game. All right. Bellinger and Veerling are on the Padres. My younger son played against Matt Veerling in high school. Beautiful downtown San Diego. We've got baseball on the show. It's the St. Louis. All right. Cease having a rough year. Starting pitcher here today, Dylan Cease. How about a report on him, Chris? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Just missed. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. 
the pitch. On the ground to third, Arenado. Whips it across. One gone, bottom half of the first. So now the DH spot, Jackson Merrill. Right side. Gorman throws on to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Fernando Tatis Jr. stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That one's in there. One ball, one strike. Two outs, base is empty. Outside, and it's two and one. Swings through that one for strike two. And a rope through the center field base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Tatis runs. Pitch in for a strike. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Siggy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. That misses the zone. Now one and two. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter. Right it's now. lagging. It's Wade seriously Wade lagging while I'm trying to pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. Makes the grab. Right, no harm done. Here in San Diego, and up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Pitch misses, and it's one to know. Bellinger is an interesting example when you talk about scouting and development. I mean, this is a guy now that has turned into one of the premier power hitters in the sport. He was a fourth round pick out of Hamilton High School in Chandler, Arizona in 2013. He hit one homer the senior year. The 2 2 now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Foul ball. Another 2 2 upcoming. And the pitch. Towards first. Naylor steps on the bag. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Next for the Padres, Luis Campusano. There's the strike. Ball for a strike. No score here in the second. Next offering is outside. And that just misses. Just missed. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Edmund reaching back towards the wall. And caught on the warning track. Thought that was out of here. <laughs> I literally, I heard that crack and I thought, that's perfect, perfect, and that's gone. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. That one lifted to left. Snags it on the run. And that is the... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Dave Loftus. And that one fouled off. Here's your one. Way out front for strike two. In the air, right field. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Throws off target as he slides in with a double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Get out of town. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Next offering is downstairs. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame here in game three of this four-game series. That misses the zone. Three and one.
This one popped up right side. Naylor gets under it. Nabs it. And there's one down. Here's the kid, Jackson Merrill. His first major league hit happened in Korea during the Seoul Series with the Padres. Nearly 7,000 miles away from his hometown of Baltimore. He had to travel across the world for his first career hit. But I think that makes it more special for him. What a cool moment that was for him. Dr. Taka, welcome in, man. Passing a kidney stone? Yee, yikes. And it's always good to watch Game 6 and 7, although Game 7 was a little bit anticlimactic after we won Game 6. Hopefully you'll uh, get over that. Recover from that kidney stone soon. Well, we uh, had the best record in baseball right now. But we lost Walker Bueller for two to three months with a ankle, a, a groin injury. And Tink and our other rookie, Chris Cutliffe, are uh, both up at the majors now, and they're both struggling unless I pitch. You're human again? Yeah, I've never had kidney stones. I had a, a second cousin that had like four. She had it four different times. Yeah, hopefully uh, you passed eight. Ouch. Hopefully uh, the problem with Tink in, in this uh, franchise is he doesn't do well in his sim. I can pitch with him, but uh, the sim doesn't like him. Just like Cut left that lefty. They both suck in the sim, and they do great when I pitch with them, or usually do great when I pitch with them. So, Just had a walk-off win against the Brewers. We tied the game in the bottom of the ninth, and Mason Wynn hit a walk-off on the first pitch of the bottom of the 10. <laughs> we, we have had... Uh, Every fan in here from every we've had we've had a Cubs fan in here, a Pirates fan, a Reds fan, but no Brewers fans. Yeah, you're a Nats fan. Hey, you guys can come in here. It's fine. I said. Uh, we get a Kansas Jayhawk fan in here, though. We're going to have to so kick him out. Let's fuck the Jayhawks. We don't have any hits right now through four innings. I'm only batting. I'm only pitching. I'm not batting, so we don't have any hits. But if we uh, if we don't have a hit when it gets to the ninth inning, I will bat to try and break up this no-hitter. Come on, let's go. No runs. Facing uh, Dylan Cease, who has a 6 ERA. We still have no hits through five. Got him. He's the one that hit the two-run homer earlier. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's in. Flips the second. That's one. On the there we go. They got two. Well, we go bottom six. We have one hit. Now it's the DH. Jackson Merrill. There's the strike of the knees. Next offering upstairs. This one smacked out to left center. Base hit and the leadoff man aboard. <laughs> Now 
it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Ripped on a line to center. Squeezes it. Yeah, I know. I agree. I was talking about that earlier. I was like, yeah, we're, we're winning, but I want our manager and our GM gone yesterday. That's a bullet, <laughs> but it goes foul. The fuck out of here. And he pumps it a strike. Look, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far. And I really think it's because of that purple. And that's a face hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much spoke the zone. New pitcher now, Mason Miller. Hey, we came back to one four to three. <laughs> Look at that. I'll take that. Four three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show. I'm John Chami saying for so long. I don't think that's set up, Jimmy. Let me let me double check. No, nope, it's not set up. When I lost my hard drive, I lost some of my sound, and I haven't put them back in. As soon as Tink came out, we scored three runs after that. All right, we are not playing this game. I'll save that for the next stream. So we'll get through this weekend here. We'll have one more round of scouting to go, and then the draft is here on the 10th. We should have Gorman in the Home Run Derby. Last year we had Naylor and Gorman in the Home Run Derby. Let's save and we'll go look at some stats, and then we'll uh, find somebody to go raid. Gift sub. Thank you, Dr. Taco. Appreciate that, man. All right, let's see. 54 and 34. So the Dodgers have played two less games and they're one win loss, one win less, one loss less. So their percentage points better than us. So they're first or second winning percentage wise for the best record in all of baseball. All right, Gorman already has 107 hits with 27 homers, 74 RBIs, slugging 626. Jordan Walker, 99 hits, got 15 and 70. Arenado hitting 291, Naylor 300, Donovan 294, Tommy, he was hitting 217. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for the, the uh, biddies, too. Appreciate that, man. Um, Mason, he fell off. He was hitting higher. He was hitting 275. Newt Barr's hitting 320, uh, 328. Contreras, we hit his 200th home run on on stream tonight. So JC's doing okay. Scott, his average is tanked, but he's on the bench. So, Bybee has 10 wins, even though he started the year with a 12 ERA. Bueller's got 9, but he's hurt. Fromber, 8. These three guys are just killing me. Just killing me. We can trade for Alec Manoa. We'll let you know that. And it'll cost us Ivan Herrera and another young center fielder. Romano. His ERA is going up lately. Um... Corbin Carroll, 365. <laughs> Look at that race for MVP. My goodness. Seager in the American League. D.L. Hall leads the Cy Young in the National League. Who the hell are all these guys? Batting title. Really, really, Colin Holderman, really? Zach Jackson. Loftus leads in Rookie of the Year. And Orelvis Martinez, the guy we traded to the Angels in the deal that got uh, Matsui and that young third baseman. Here, let's look at stats from AAA. Sheldon Parks, that's one of our draft choices, a first-round pick. 
Only 257. You got 28 steals, though. Luke and Baker is going to be buried in the minors forever. Elijah Green still isn't progressing. Henry Davis. Um, he really should be at the major league level. It's our first round pick this last draft. If we needed a reliever, I'd bring him up, but we don't need a reliever. All right, Triple A, Kevin Navarro. This dude is a deep potential 65 overall left fielder, hitting 310. Esteban Cabrera, that's a guy we drafted last year. I think he was a third baseman, he moved into first. This is the guy we got from the Angels in that trade with Matsui. He's the number one prospect in baseball. Look at that, 93 contact against lefties already at 19 years old. <laughs> he just doesn't have any power. He can steal bags, though. Drake, we got him from Washington. He hasn't progressed at all. I traded for this guy. Where's that center fielder? It's this guy. No contact, all speed. So we could trade this guy. And Herrera. Man, look how much he's regressing. And if we trade Herrera and that guy, we would get Alec Manoa. And Manoa's a free agent, so we don't have to re-sign him. And Herrera's out of options. We'll see. When we get to the trade deadline next episode, we'll see how we're doing. We'll see how these two guys in paint are doing. What's Manoa doing? Seven and six. Eh, not too bad at all. No quirks, really. So we wouldn't have to resign them, although it wouldn't be a bad idea, but we wouldn't have to. Happy A, happy fourth tight spot. Welcome in, man. We are just wrapping up the uh, month of June. We will start here next stream, which could be tomorrow, either in the morning. If it's not, if I'm not live at nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow night at like eight o'clock, eight or nine o'clock. And we'll do the draft, which will be here. We know Gorman's going to be in the home run derby. And then we have the trade deadline there. So we'll get, we'll get through July. That'll give us August, September and the playoffs to go. So. We're just treading water with uh, Bueller out and these three young pitchers kind of pitching crappily. So, so tell me who's, we're in a playoff push. Colorado's rebuilding. San Diego's rebuilding. Giants are rebuilding. Hmm. Really? Boston's rebuilding. If I wanted to, I could trade and get Devers. And he would basically just replace Arenado in price. And give us a huge left-handed bat in the middle of the order. Not that we don't already have a ton of left-handed bats. Hmm. 
<laughs> he's a rebuilding. This is the guy that we didn't get in the first draft because he went two picks before us. Well, yeah, he had 228 strikeouts last year. This dude is a freaking all-star. He would have been in our rotation two years ago. <laughs> hey, what do you want for Lee Boyle? What do you want for Lee Boyle? Let's find out. We're not going to make this trade because they would never trade this good young player away. But what would it cost us? Nolan Gorman and Jordan Walker. Okay. <laughs> you want two A potential guys. Yeah, okay. I understand. What about Bieber? Bieber wouldn't be too bad. He's a free agent as well. Mason went into JC. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. Whatever. All right. All that a day, boys and girls. Who can we go raid? Well, we're going to go raid St. Breezes because he came in here and said howdy, and I haven't seen him stream in a while. He's playing NCAA football, so uh, let's go raid Breezes, and uh, I'll be back sometime tomorrow, day or night. Like I said, if I'm not on at 9 central in the morning, I'll be on tomorrow night. So watch your uh, notifications, and we'll get through this draft and all-star break and trade deadline and go from there. So let me get this raid ready to go. See you over in Breezes' stream. He's playing Oklahoma State. So I'm going to get that raid going. You guys are ready. We'll head on over there. I'm going to give you a thanks for watching screen. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Happy 4th of July. And uh, take care, guys. Mm -hmm.